All right, let's see what else we got in that box. Small and heavy, big and light. This one I'm gonna do first. Let's do the uh, big light one. Looks like there's a cable there. Some kind of cable. Ah, front brake cable. With a lever on it. Be careful they whip on you. All right, there you go. Front brake cable. With the ends on it. So this is the uh, cloth cover cable. It's got the aluminum lever, which is. That's going to put you at least in 44 and later with the aluminum lever on it. They were cast iron before that. So they have the blade with no ball on it. So that means just you know, early 60s. I think 62 they put the ball on the end of it. So we know it's between 61 on back. And got the aluminum cover on here, which I've never seen before. So that means it's pretty damn late. This is a steel cover that goes across here. So, it doesn't look like this exactly fits in there, so I don't know if it's something somebody just put on there, would be my guess, out of something else, but I don't know. I've just never seen that bracket before, so I don't know. So these have a pivot bolt here, that's a shouldered screw, basically. And it's got a lock nut over here, it threads into here and then lock nuts that, so it doesn't fall off. And this one appears to be pretty decent shape, it's not very loose. Uh, not bad. Got the old style barrel style holder there, Clevis. Yeah, pretty nice little piece. It's actually good condition. You never know when you buy these things on eBay what you're getting. Stock levers like this on eBay are 60 to 100 bucks a pop these days. So <clears throat> not too bad. So this is your front brake cable handlebar clamp. Came out in 37 on the one style. They had some other ones that went all back in the 30s, but they made some differences. And this bracket here I do not recognize, so I think that's probably homemade. And this here is your clevis for your front brake. And being one that looks like this means it's for a springer. So this is springer lever setup. And being that it's post-war, because it's aluminum. That means this is going to be for a 45 and later knucklehead, panhead, up to 48 because it's Springer. Or up to 57 if you had a sidecar or an optional Springer front end that was available to 57 on your panhead. <clears throat> so basically it's a 45 to 48 setup is what it should be. And the lengths are pretty much all the same on the front brake cables. They don't really change because the forks are all the same length. So the clamp goes around the handlebar and just holds it. And the lever goes up on the up there where a clutch lever would normally be on a real a regular bike. It goes on the left side over there. So so they do it because it was a foot clutch bike. Alright, that looks pretty nice. I'm happy with that. Let's we'll see what that is. Alright, new knife out.